Welcome back guys, my name is Gabriel Moses and today I have some really amazing news to share with you guys and I'm super excited to share it with you guys because you guys know that um, I've been going through a lot of health stuff lately. It's honestly been super stressful, really scary because it's been about my heart. We've made a few videos in the past about it and today I finally found out my test results. So I'm honestly really relieved right now. I haven't told Jack yet about it but I'm super excited because I'm gonna be surprising him with the test results. But through this all, you guys have been so supportive to me and you guys have been so encouraging and I just wanted to say thank you so much because you have no idea the difference that it's made because I was really scared going into this entire thing. I didn't know what was wrong with me. My chest was hurting. I thought there was something really bad wrong with my heart. And like through it all, you guys were so reassuring. You're so positive when I was not positive. You guys were like lifting me up and hyping me up and like making me feel like it's okay. Like no matter what happens, everything's gonna turn out okay. And I just really wanna thank you guys for that because it really made a huge difference in all of this. Like you guys made me smile whenever it was like hard to smile because it was super scary going through all of this and Jack's been super worried about me because this has been going on for about a month and since I finally have the results I'm so happy everything came back good I actually just got diagnosed with anxiety I have a more severe case of anxiety where instead of me feeling it emotionally I suppress my emotions and I my body feels it so my heart is the one that's been feeling it lately so my heart's actually where the anxiety kind of hits me it's where I feel my pain and so yeah I have anxiety because of stress because of school because of working and because of life and it's really common so I'm just so thankful that it's nothing that's gonna require surgery or something that can't be fixed and so I'm just super relieved to know what it is and I honestly didn't expect it just to be anxiety I didn't because it was a severe pain like a stabbing pain and who would have thought that it's something as simple as that it's so important not to overthink these types of things but it is important to go to the doctor and figure out what is wrong because you never know what's gonna be wrong. It could be anxiety, it could be something more serious and more. But Jack has been super worried about me this entire time. I, You guys can really tell in the videos, he just has not been himself lately. He's really anxious about me getting back my test results, but he really, really cares about how I'm doing and he's trying to overcompensate me being stressed and like worried about what's wrong with me and he's just been really here for me through all of this and today I finally get to tell him that I am okay I just have anxiety so I'm super excited to be able to tell him that I'm okay I'm currently just in my car <laughs> about to go into his apartment but I just wanted to fill you guys in before I walk in but I'm so excited to just be able to tell Jack all of this because I feel like there has been this weight on my shoulder and I know he's feeling the exact same way because I think he's been taking this whole thing harder than I have. You could see it in the videos. He was super sad. He was super worried about how I was and I don't know what I would do without him because it means so much to have someone here for me like Jack who's been there with me through it all. He's been so supportive of absolutely everything he I've been doing. He's literally been taking me to all my doctor's appointments, making sure he knows what's going on, making sure he knows that like I'm okay if I needed absolutely anything. He's like, Gabriel, let me know if you need anything. Every five seconds he texts me that. And so I'm excited to finally be able to tell him that everything's okay. Okay guys, so right now Jack is playing the new game, video game that we've been talking about non-stop. He has his headphones on, so he definitely cannot hear me right now. But as soon as he gets a break, or like as soon as he stops playing this, then I'm gonna whip out my phone because I have the test results right here on my phone. Got it right here. So, now we just have to wait for him to get done. Can we talk? Jack. What? Can we talk? What? Can we talk? What's up? No, I mean like actually talk about something important. What's up? Oh my god. 
Are you crying? Are you crying? So this means there's nothing. No, it's anxiety. <sighs> we ain't dying today, baby. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Alright, I'm gonna play more video. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, you kinda made me back out for something small like that. Something small. God, I mean, I, I thought it was gonna be important. Like, we're reading for dinner. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, we gotta celebrate. We gotta celebrate? Mm -hmm. Are we gonna go out to eat? Yeah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm filming it. Is that why you were gone for like an hour just now? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bro, this is what happened. I, Gabby was like, hey, you know, it's okay if you want to play your game. I was like, okay, cool. So I started playing my game, right? So I'm just playing. Gabby was like, all right, I'm going to go out to my car. Okay? I'm thinking she left her rubber ducky hoodie there or, you know, her homework. No? Nope. Lit <laughs> I literally played like three games and Gabriel still ain't back. I'm like, all right, it's over. She got kidnapped. I've been reading all about how this has been happening. Mm -hmm. Pretty girls, it's not safe no matter where you go. Well, guess what? Apparently... That's what she was doing. So, we've got to. Oh, my cheeks hurt from smiling. We've got to celebrate oh. somehow. I don't know how. We got to celebrate somehow, though. Guys, today is a good day. Today is a very good day. Oh my God, this has been bothering me for weeks. You have no idea. I didn't want to like over dramatize it. I didn't want to make like be looking like everyone feel sorry for me or anything. So I didn't say much about it on the social media. We made a couple update videos. Other than that, we really didn't make it that much of a deal. But my God, it was a big deal. It was a big deal to me, and I'm very so glad. I am he very he glad. He literally was not himself. Oh no, during not at all. Any of it. I like haven't been able to sleep, having trouble eating. It's it's just not been a very good time. But fortunately, now we know Gabriel just has a serious anxiety problem, which I guess isn't good. But, but at least she, 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 hey, she ain't dying. I had, you know I was literally overthinking it all, so much to it. I think that was the scariest part because I was thinking of the worst possible outcome, and I was oh, thinking yeah. that was probably what was wrong with That's me. That's what we all do, though. That's I was what we all do. I was so bad, though. Because my grandpa and my grandma. Mm -hmm. And I just immediately thought, well, if something happened to them, it's probably something happening to me, too. Like, it has to be something in my genes, but... Nope. Likely, it's not. Fortunately, Gabrielle's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm okay, too, guys. I know y'all worrying about me, too. But I'm, I'm fine. You know, my KD ratio ain't looking too hot. Shut up. But <laughs> this is supposed to be about me. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're good. We're I fine. feel so so relieved right now and I can't stop smiling oh I was God. so scared but like the worst possible thing that can happen with any of this is just me having an anxiety attack or me having more chest pains which can easily be treated through therapy or medication so this is a treatable thing and it's super common too and so I feel like if you guys are going through anything similar, if you guys are having any pains anywhere or anything is wrong with you guys, go to your doctor, talk to someone about it, because it's worse to keep it bottled up, because that's what I've been doing with my feelings. And it caused me chest pains, it caused me to have anxiety, and now I have to go through more treatment because of that. And so definitely don't be scared to ask for help. Talk to your parents, talk to literally anyone, because it could be something little or it could be something a lot more serious. And it's always to be it's always better to be safe than sorry. And I think this is also a really good point that even pretty Instagram girls have anxiety. Everyone's got it. You know, it might Gabriel's over here, you know, posing the same po you know, doing the same I'm holding my hair like this, you can see my extensions pose for the hundredth time. She looks all happy, everything's perfect. Well, guess what? Not everything's always perfect, and that that, that's so that applies true. to absolutely everyone. If you're ever if you if you go on social media and you're comparing yourself to someone, you're like, man, so they unhealthy. seem to be so happy, and I'm not happy, so that makes me more sad. Or they they seem to be accomplishing so much, but I'm not accomplishing much, and that makes me feel bad. Well, guess what? I guarantee you, they are looking at someone else and saying the same thing. It doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter where they're from. It is all the same. Everyone is always trying to be better. Everyone's trying to be better than the next person. Everyone's comparing themselves. And that's why we're all miserable. And we've got to stop doing it. Okay? It, it, we got to start appreciating what we have. Appreciating what okay. we can get. The opportunities we have in front of each other. Like, or the opportunities we have in front of us. Like, we, we've got to stop comparing us to each other. Because that's, that, that's one thing. 
that it's just what what is that saying the key to happiness is uh is expect is life with minus expectations or something like that what is that yeah it's something know. like that so, guys it's pretty close i tried to, to I, i'm trying way too hard to be some like prolific guy but you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. we gotta stop we gotta stop doing that we gotta be grateful we gotta be happy with what we have or at least yeah. content and then and you have to take forward. it day by day you can't stress yourself out about the future or about the past like you want to live in the moment and be happy. That and I'm you're not here. saying that we do that all the time. No. I'm saying we just know that that's what you have to do. That's one of the steps you have to take, and it takes time. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna be in a better mood by doing this. Flip a switch. It's not how it no. works. It takes okay, a lot of time. It, it takes like becoming happy with who you are, being happy with yourself. But now that that's settled, we can go back to making videos and being in a good mood like all the time. Because videos make us happy. We, we love making videos, but it's it's hard when you got something big like that weighing on your mind all the time. And so now, we can go back to that. We can go back to the cutest thumbs you've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Gabrielle looks- Jack keeps going like that in front of my face. I'm like, you know, no one wants to hear Gabrielle talk. I'm just kidding. So anyways, we're gonna end this video because I'm eager to go and eat some food with her. We're gonna have a long time. So we're gonna have a good time. And I'm gonna play some video games and we're gonna have a good time, okay? The next videos you guys are gonna start seeing is gonna be really fun. I'm super stoked because now this is all figured out. I now said we don't have to worry about that. Like the weight is lifted. I said that now that I said that once we figured all of this out, we would launch the No Limits merchandise, and we have just finished the design, so we will be launching that very soon. If you guys are interested in joining the Jack and Gab fam, the Rubber Duck and Army, the No Limits lifestyle, everything we've got going on right now, you can get your first merch or the first merch we've ever made down below. It'll be linked. It'll be pinned. All that. You can get twenty dollars off if you pre-order it. That'll be down below but we hope you guys enjoyed we really appreciate your guys support and we are super excited to have this just over oh my god it feels so good i can't oh uh, i wish i was better at explaining my emotions on camera it is Jack so sucks good. at explaining his emotions it's so good anytime. it's so good it's so good oh my god i feel like uh you feel like you can breathe again yeah that's how i feel but hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one